Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and it's going to look at skeletal formula. So where does it sit in the specification? Well this com it comes under learning aim A2 and it's right there. If you haven't seen previous videos on displayed and structural formula I suggest you do watch that one first and you will find a link in the description below. First up though, if you don't subscribe, please do your support. It's very much appreciated. Please use the comment and like features and let me know what you think. A little bit of background then. So a molecular formula, that shows us the number and types of atoms and that's the circled one there. That would be the molecular formula for that molecule. It tells us it contains five carbons, 11 hydrogens and one bromine. The displayed formula, not only does it show all of the atoms that are present, it also shows the full structure with all of the bonds. So this is the displayed formula here and it shows those five carbon atoms with the 11 hydrogens and the one bromine, but it shows us exactly how they are bonded and every bond is drawn and shown. The structural formula doesn't show all of the bonds. In fact, it doesn't show any bonds, but it does give us a full idea of the structure. So it would be quite easy for us to draw the displayed from that structural formula. And again, that's just a quick, brief description of the two. If you need some more help with those, do use the link in the description below and watch the previous video on displayed and structural. Focus for this video though, is to look at the skeletal or skeletal formula and what this does is this shows the full structure of the molecule without having to draw all those carbon atoms or any of the hydrogens that are bonded to those carbon atoms. So it makes drawing the structure much, much quicker. And if you do study chemistry at any further level after college, then you most certainly will use skeletal formula. The best way for me to explain this would be to talk through a couple of examples. So you'll notice that I've, I'm using some graph paper here, some background of hexagons, and that's just to help visualize the kind of angles we're gonna draw. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna number these carbons, one, two, three, four, and five. So this contains five carbon atoms. So carbon, 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 carbon. There's my four carbons. And there's another carbon bonded on that one there. So there's my five carbons. Now I don't bother drawing any of the CH bonds. So I don't need to draw any of these. I don't need to draw any hydrogens on this molecule in fact. So the final structural, or sorry, the final skeletal formula would be one, two, three, four, and then there's a methyl on that group there on the third carbon. There's several different ways I could draw it. Look, I could go one, two, three, four, with a methyl on this one. That's exactly the same thing. Okay, so there's several ways of drawing it, but all would be correct. Just making sure that there's a carbon there, that's a carbon, that's a carbon, that's a carbon, and that's a carbon. We also need to use our knowledge that carbon will always have four bonds. So we know that this carbon at the beginning, for example, because it's only got one bond to another carbon, it must be a CH3 group. So we know that these carbons at the end are CH3s. We know that this carbon in the middle must be CH2 because it's already got two bonds. So the other two bonds that we can't see must be hydrogens. This carbon number three here, because it's got three bonds, we know that that must just be a CH group. And you can see that here, it's got three bonds to three other carbons, so there's a H. So we can kind of use our knowledge of numbers of bonds to recognize how many hydrogens would be bonded to that carbon. Next example then. A little bit different this one because it has a double bond here. But I'm just gonna follow the same pattern. I'm gonna number them, one, two, three, four. There's a carbon up there, five, and there's a carbon here, six. So how will I take that across? Right, well, I can start anywhere. I'm gonna to choose to start at this point here. So there's a carbon, that's carbon number one, moving along to carbon number two, and then carbon number three, carbon number four, and that's the end of the chain. There was a carbon on the 
third, this would be moving down to carbon number five. And there was also a carbon up here. So this here would be carbon six. So just so you can recognize this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's my six carbons. Now, there is a double bond here, look. How do I show a double bond? Well, I'm just going to draw this as a double bond, two lines. So that's going to show a double bond there. So there's a double bond between the one and the two, or the first and the second carbon. And again, as the previous example, I would know that this carbon here has two hydrogens attached, one, two. How do I know that? Because it's got two bonds in the picture two bonds there. Therefore, the other two bonds must be hydrogens. Okay, so we can apply those rules that carbon always has four bonds. So we don't have to draw all the CHs. We just need to know that the other atoms that are bonded there would be hydrogens. Likewise, that's a CH3, that's a CH3, and that's a CH3. CH3, CH3, CH3. This carbon number two doesn't have any hydrogens attached to it because it's already got four bonds. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, that carbon number two doesn't have any hydrogens attached. Carbon number three, it's got one, two, three bonds. So the fourth bond must be hydrogen. And there you can see it there. There's a H. So there's a few for you to have a go at now. I'm going to suggest you pause the video and you try and draw these out. And when you're ready to see the answers, unpause and we'll go through them. Right, I'm going to do this top left one first. So there's four carbons in a line. One, two, three, four. So that's my four carbons. One, two, three, four. So I've done this part. There's a methyl group on the second carbon. There we go. And then there's a methyl group on the third carbon as well. So that's the skeletal formula for the first one. Let's do this one now. Well, let's do these three carbons first. So there's three carbons in a row here. One, two, three. That's those three carbons taken care of. And then there's another two carbons coming off the middle carbon. So this time I have to do an ethyl group. So that's the answer to number two. Third one, how many carbons? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Actually six, because this one comes off the top here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And then there's a methyl on the second last one, which is here. So there's our answer to that third one. So let's have a look at some with other functional groups that we've seen then. So let's have a look at some halo alkanes and some alcohols. So again, I suggest you have a little go at yourself and when you're ready to see the answers, unpause the video. Right, I'm going to do the first one. We've got three carbons. So one, two, three. And on the second carbon, we've got a bromine. So I do have to show that bond to the bromine. And we have a methyl, a CH3 group. So that's those two side chains there. And that's the skeletal formula for number one. Number two, one, two, three, four carbons. So one, two, three, four carbons. On the first carbon, there's an OH group. So I do show OH. Notice how I've done O first because it's the oxygen that's bonded to carbon, not the H. So I'm showing that the bond goes to the oxygen. Okay. What I didn't want to do is I didn't want to do this because this would have been wrong. Because that suggests the bonds to the hydrogen and it's definitely not. It's bonded to the oxygen, not the hydrogen. So O, H. So that's this group. And then there's an ethyl on the second carbon. There we go. So slightly more difficult number two. Let's have a look at number three. One, two, three, four, five carbons long. One, two, three, four, five carbons. And on the first carbon, there's a bromine. 
On the third carbon, there's a methyl group. And on the last carbon, there's a fluorine. Last task then, so this time we've got some structural formula and we're going to see if you can convert them into skeletal. Now if it's going to be easier for you to draw the displayed first and then the skeletal, then go for it. When you're ready to see the answers, unpause the video. So here we've got one, two, three, four carbons in the chain. One, two, three, four carbons in the chain. On the third carbon, there's a BR group. So that's the answer for the first one. Second one, one, two, three carbons. And on the first carbon, there's a H and a BR, so let's draw the BR. Now, that's not actually correct just yet, because there's definitely something wrong here, because this first carbon only has two groups attached to it. And the second carbon also only has two groups attached to it. So I, I'm recognising that there's a double bond here, there's an alkene. And it would be very mean of them to do something like, in that, like that in the exam. I very much doubt they would. Okay, which is why I'm suggesting you draw the displayed formulas first. Because that's I can recognise that fairly quickly as an alkene, but I appreciate you might not. However, if you were to try and draw the displayed, CHBR, CBR, CH3, you would recognise hopefully that there's a problem with these two carbons because there's only three bonds, so that must be a double bond. Again, we did talk through that in my structural and displayed formula video. Right, final one. One, two, oh, that's a CH3, so that's a side chain. There's a three, four, so that's an awkward, this is a difficult one. So it's a, the longest chain is five. One, two, three, four, five. The last carbon is a CH3, that's fine, but the number four has a fluorine bonded to it. I've taken care of that. The third carbon had a H and a CH3, so that's my CH3 on the third carbon. The second carbon also had a CH3. Okay, now obviously I'm fairly good at recognising those from the structural, but I do advise that if you are asked to give a skeletal formula, that you actually make sure you've got the displayed formula first, that you actually draw the displayed formula, because it is much easier to draw the skeletal from the displayed. And that's the end of this video, so hopefully that was useful. Um, any questions, please ask, and good luck.